Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 48's World, not Deb Shane. Like I've been hearing a lot of people say, well a few people say, when they try to introduce uh, my name when I'm on their platforms in their chat. So could y'all please tell them it's not Deb Shane, it's Deb Chanel, 48's World, okay? Anyway, just had to get that out there. <laughs> But we're here today because I want to kind of touch bases with you all uh, from the previous episode that we saw of Merit to Medicine last week or last Sunday on the Bravo channel. Uh, it was season seven, episode 11, and I just wanted to touch back on the issues that three people were terribly involved with um uh, the demise of Buffy and how Dr. Jackie put her spin in on things or how she took somebody else's pain and tried to empower it without even asking permission from Miss Buffy. Okay, I'm like, Jackie, 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 Jackie. You are just a piss poor human being when it comes to keeping other people's business out in them streets. Um, Jack, you had no right, no right at all. And you still just after a week has passed from this episode, it seems like you still don't get it. It's like we're knocking, but the door is not opening to your brain. The lights are completely off. There's no electricity functioning up on that level of sensibility, compassion flowing through your veins, okay? And I have, I really think it has something to do with uh, Curtis, your relationship with him, and him pretty much shutting the door on any successful uh, implement, implementation of a family being um, surrounded by you and his union. Honey, Dr. Jackie, you are known, well known in the community and probably throughout the medical field or profession, I should say. You have a great cast uh, group that you're working with on Merit to Medicine. Everybody has their own Je ne sais quoi, I should say, uh, to the show, what they bring to the show. But it just seems like you want to be mother hen and you want to tell things that are confidential. And what you did to Buffy Purcell is just totally, I know we're supposed to forgive people and their demeanors and their actions, but Lord have mercy. Welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. <laughs> If you're just tuning in, this is me, Deb Chanel's 40s. We're hosting my own show. Okay, so welcome to the channel and get in where you fit in. Okay, but going back to Miss Jackie. I ain't even gonna call her Mrs. Because right now, Curtis not even uh, giving her the salute of being his wife. She's more of a puppet towards him. And for the life of me, I can't understand for somebody so brilliant, so wonderful, so intelligently spoken, well-spoken, eloquently spoken, and definitely uh, diverse in many different genres of making revenue. How in the hell is she still stuck with Curtis? I don't understand that. I really don't. And she has definitely employed him now as her project manager over at her business, her own medical profession, because he decided that, hey, they weren't treating him right in his profession where he's a, he was a basketball coach. I don't know. Was it middle school? Was it college? What was it? The NFL? I mean, no, the NBA? <clears throat> Not really sure. But it definitely has taken its toll on Jackie, and it seems like she is sparring with her co uh, hosts her uh, constituents on Merit to Medicine. Now, what Buffy may have told her in private, and she really felt that it was something she could have uh, related to within her book when she was doing her revealing party, that was something else, but she still should have got Buffy's, uh, what do you call it, permission. Or she wanted to spread the news. She definitely didn't have to put Buffy's name attached to the infertility or someone she knew was a uh, barren with children or she was having a hard time and she kind of fits the uh, box Jackie wanted to put her in as being infertile, what we call it, infertile at the time. But she didn't necessarily have to tell Buffy's name and then call her out in front of all of Jackie's friends, foes, constituents, uh, sponsors, and then definitely not on the show because everybody globally know that Buffy is infertile. 
Even though Buff is like, no, I am not infertile. I'm just having a hard time keeping a baby. Honey, ain't no way in the world I would have let Jackie got away with that one. Now, she probably uh, would have got away with speaking. But, honey, at that Carbo luncheon table we were at, I would have said, oh, Jackie, well, let's talk about your husband, the one who cheated on you, the one who, let me empower you. Let me take your pain and make it powerful. Um, I would definitely be filing for a divorce from, uh, what's his name, Curtis sitting over there next to you. You call yourself a husband. Well, honey, what about me empowering you to stand up, cuss, tell him, tell you, tell him in your words how you're going to cuss him out and how he made you feel when the social media put out there that he was hugged up on at a hotel getting ready to check in and do the wild thing with the woman and spend some quality time, even even if it was just for a weekend. Now, how can we uh, empower you to overcome that structure? Ladies, gentlemen who are at the table, how can we help Jackie overcome that? How can we empower her to get over not having a child? Because definitely that's the only child she's going to have sitting right there, her uh, stepchild playing like they Charlie's Angels or something, okay? But Curtis already said, and no, on, second ter- on certain terms, he ain't having no more children. He is not having any more children, but he want a big old house filled with rooms to stock up children in, big old yard to play with children in, living in a well-gated community in a big old house that has a kitchen that ain't no children going to be in, and Jackie accepts it. Okay, but then she wants to get on Buffy Purcell about being infertile and telling all her business at her revealing book party. But let's go into some notes that I took that I want to express about the situation because I'm already seven minutes in and we don't want to tarry too long, okay? But anyway, I'm just focusing on Dr. Jackie confronting Buffy Purcell at dinner, which was last episode uh Season 7, episode 11. You know, they were all sitting around the table. And Buffy pretty much, um, well, Buffy pretty much says to Jackie, Jackie, I really don't like that you did what you did at your reveal party. Letting everybody know my personal business that I let you know in private. Or I let you knew of in private what I was going through and what I was suffering from mentally and physically about everything about not being able to carry a baby, which is something I really want, da 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 I didn't think it was appropriate that you should have done that. And I'm upset with you about that. So Jackie gets all in her feelings, of course, and, you know, start looking evil. And she states to Buffy uh, that she's... <clears throat> That woman, it says, Jackie states to Buffy after Buffy explains to Jackie that what she said to her book, you know, like I said, at her, on her book report uh, or with her book revealing party that she didn't like it. And, and, you know, Jackie, you know, just really acting all nasty and rude. And then she responded back to Buffy, well, I received what you said. I apologize. And uh, I'm not done with it. <laughs> I'm like, nah, baby, we ain't done with it because I'm looking, looking at your husband and I'm telling you, he fooled around once, he's going to do it again to you. Now, how you feel about that? How do you feel about that, Jackie? Since you don't want to uh, look at your actions and find that you were definitely wrong for putting, my, putting out my business out there in front of all them people. I ain't no half them people in the room except for the cast that we have here on our show. But Dr. Jackie, you knew them. You knew what you were going to do. At least you could have forewarned me so I could have answered it stage left when that shit came out of your mouth. Or better yet, you should have told me come up to the platform if I wanted to share some news that was similar to what you were talking about in your book reveal par- uh, party and your unveiling of your uh, cover for your book, that you wanted me to discuss any pertinent information regarding 
uh, something that was bothering me, but didn't have to necessarily put it as infertile or infertile, however you want to put it. You know, you didn't have to do that. Or at least let me clock my own 10, have me come up there and do, you know, something as an introduction to women that are in my such case. Uh, there's helplines we could call, there's support groups. And, you know, for you to let me go, come up there and, you know, speak my piece on the matter. But no, you didn't do that. But for you to go and be all nasty, nasty, rude and nasty and say, well, I'm done with this issue. Now, I understand what you said. I take all of it. I receive it in the right whole nation and the right frame of mind. And um, I apologize to you to the best of my knowledge that I can do. And guess what? I'm done with it. <laughs> I'm like, Jackie, you weren't talking to no children at that table. I don't think I could find one person at that table that was under 18. Okay. And then you, uh, girl, girl, I'm like, girl, I, I was like, uh, I was at a loss because it ain't nowhere in the world. You would have got away with talking to me like that. And Curtis was prime meat over there for me to throw a blow by blow like you did me. Girl, I would have took you on a road trip, starting with Curtis, his infidelity, and then his mistress being shown on social media. The side, the back of her, the front of her, and everything else. I don't know if you knew her personally, but you definitely could have looked her up on social media, and, and it would have told you a lot about her. Or you could even put your PR people on her, private investigator, PI, I mean, PI, not public relations, but public a private investigator. Okay, you could have did that and found out all oh, nice things about what Curtis was doing behind your back when he said he was at uh, school coaching. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's how that situation would have went. We look at his behind sitting up there. Everything was nice looking till you got down to his socks. Now, what does them cloud covering socks go with that striped shirt? I I know. <laughs> Yes, we would have been tearing him up. Even though I found it very interesting, Buffy, that your husband didn't say anything. But he might be one of those plush type of polished guys since it wasn't like somebody was, uh, what do you call it, swirling uh, insults at you verbally and cussing you out. I guess he felt like, I'm not going to get into it. I'm too above these people. <laughs> At least that's what he was giving me. And I'm pretty sure he's a very nice man. He just don't like, you know, getting into arbitrarily type, you know, things of that nature. But yes, honey, sitting up there with that woman. Who that woman, Harpo? Huh, Who is that woman? And then he going to sit up there and tell you, no, we're not going to have any kids. No, we're not going to live in the city. No, we're going to have this big old house we're going to live in. I feel any children in it because I don't like children anymore like that. I've had my feel with other women that I've had children children with i had that life i know what it's all about okay let's see that's jackie that is my idea of what i think you're suffering from and you're taking it out on any and everybody you can get your hands on because it may not been where you committed a hipaa law infraction or um a hypocrite what do you call it a hepatic, let me see, Hippocratic oath that you violated uh, when it comes to patient contact. Since Buffy was not your patient, okay. But whether she was your patient, your friend, your foe, that's just something you shouldn't have thrown out there. And you got to learn how to stand in your shit. And people need to constantly, in your circle of friends, put you on blast. Because see, Jack, this man that you're with right now, that man right there, he ain't giving you no livelihood when it comes to uh, being a mother. Because if he was any kind of man, he would sit up there and let you adopt some child, okay? Or have somebody be your surrogate and, and carry a child. Even if he really wasn't really into it, he, he could have let you have that experience, you know? But no, mm -mm. he too much of a... I don't want to say dumbass for you to even sit there and want to partake of being in your life. That's just piss poor, piss poor for him to have all that over you. And you're smart, you're intelligent, uh, you well uh, renowned in your field, you have money, but yet you sit and look at this man to ask permission whether you can have a child or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, but he can go and do anything he wants to. He can retire. And I don't even know if he's 60 years old to be retiring. Okay, 65, 66, 67. So I'm like, mm-mm, girl, mm-mm. Mm-mm, because I'm like, 
that whole book ordeal that you did. I'm like, what crawled in your JJ to make you go off on Buffett? Because even um, Toya and um, Eugene was scared. <laughs> Cause Eugene was like, baby, who is this woman? Where did she come from? And Buffy looked like, I ain't trying to lie. I ain't backing down, baby. Whatever you got, I can give it back to you twofold over. All right, twofold over. So I'm like, go on and get her Buffy. Go on and get her Buffy, girl. Because that's, that wasn't right. That wasn't right what she did. Like I said, I would have been all over her talking about Curtis and that affair he had. And it wasn't behind her back. It was in front of her back. And I'm like, oh, Lord. And Jackie took him back. Even Mariah was saying, you know, just certain things you just don't say, certain things you just don't do, uh, whether you ask permission or not. That's just to be a known thing. That's just hurting another you know, innocent person, you know, you had no right, Jackie, you had no right, and poor Aiden, he just do whatever uh, Mariah say, but Mariah don't really put him into those predicaments that Curtis has put Jackie in, okay, and let me see my notes, did I miss anything? But, yeah, I was just pretty much saying I would have got, that's where I would have hit Jackie below the belt since she hit me below the belt. And she really felt like, ooh, guess what? Oops, did I do that? Ooh, in my Steve Urkel voice, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. No, I'm not sorry. I'm like, girl, Jackie, 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 Jackie. Mm-mm. She goes on and tells Toya that, yeah, honey, you looking at this new girl. This is the new girl. You just met her. Here she go. And I've been like, put her back. Put her back. <laughs> we don't want this new girl. We want you to stand in your shit. We don't want you to have alter egos running around on Buffy Parcel. Because she can get with all three of them, all four of them you want to bring out to her. Okay? She wasn't having it. She was not having that mess from you. She didn't, she didn't believe you. She didn't think your apology was sincere the first time, the second time time and i'm sure we're gonna have a third time with this episode coming up um this sunday at nine o'clock i think it that's when it airs on my time zone so i just can't wait to see it come like girl jackie you a hot mess honey baby girl you trying to scare everybody around there about that alter ego lady coming out saying yeah y'all didn't see her but y'all see her now and you know we i'm done with this situation oh and then toy said Girl, Jackie, you can't talk to that that lady like that. That ain't no child. That's a girl. She like child. She goes on to tell Buffy, she don't have to ever worry about her saying anything about her. Uh, and then uh, again, and then Buffy says something like. Uh, I just can't believe that you're acting this way. I just told you, I'm just disappointed on what you did and how you acted. And she said, honey. Uh, whatever. She pretty much shrugged her off or whatever. And then she said, make that be the last thing you say to me tonight. And then, uh, Buffy was like poking the bell. She said, okay. <laughs> and Jack just looked at her like she wanted to just climb over that table and whoop her ass. But I'm, girl, we know Buffy would have dragged her from sun up to sun down, all down that beach, honey, and wouldn't have let her go. All right. But that was just a hot mess. That was a hot mess of Jackie, and Jackie brought it on herself. And I would just like <clears throat> to just, you know, really tell the cast, don't be letting Jackie sit up there and run all over y'all. When she disrespects y'all, y'all disrespect her. So she'll know, well, I can't be talking to these ladies any kind of wake up. They're going to embarrass me, and I don't want to be looking embarrassed and this, that, and third. I'm like, honey, Curtis do that to you all day, every day, you know? So you should be really looking and wearing embarrassment pretty well. But that's just my sidebar, and that's all I had to give to this uh, secondary commentary that I wanted to put out prior to the new episode coming up because I really felt Jackie Waters was just bad. And even Simone and... um. Cecil was surprised at Jack, and they was just like, she has no compassion. She has no, you know, 
no love for Buffy. Did she know that was a traumatic time for her and for her to just blast her out? That's why I said, honey, if that were me and I was Buffy at that time, girl, I would have been singing all down the line about your husband is a cheater, a cheater, a cheater. Your husband is a cheater. Now, how is you empowered about that? How are you going to empower others about that, Jackie? That would be my whole sing-along song that whole night where she would have got up, left the table, and went to her room, or hell, went and swam in the sea or something. But I would have had that. But Buffy handled it, and I guess in the way she wanted to. And uh, that alter ego jacket that you're seeing there, like she just want to tear Buffy lips off, or she want to tear her own lips off and scream and shout. Buffy wasn't even phased, like, baby, boom. I got your number, and every time I want to talk about this situation, I'm going to bring it up. Because <laughs> I know it's your Achilles heel, and the majority members of this little club we got here of couples, they know you were foul too. They just don't want to say it because they don't want to witness it. But yes, Jackie, you're going to always be alone. No, You're going to be childless, and just like I am, but I'm going to try to do something about mine because my husband don't care if I adopt or whatever, but your husband, he don't care if you adopt, you have somebody carry it for you. He don't want no children. He ain't going to have no part. Of it, even if he had to leave you, honey. And I'm like, mm hmm, mm hmm, okay. But that's all I had to really say. Um, uh, cause then, you know, um, just in closing, Simone, her best friend, was saying the same thing. She couldn't believe this was going on, and she was seeing it just like the uh, rest of us were seeing it at the same time. And she was like, no, nah, Jackie got mad because they put her behind on blast. So my thing is, if Toya can put her on blast, if Buffy can put her on blast, Dr. Simone, you need to put your friend on blast. Okay, so the rest of the team, because Mariah done put her pretty much on blast too. So she'll know she can't play these games out in public or in private when it comes to uh, knowing something about you all and she not sharing it because like it could have been so uh, it could have been a reverse situation where Buffy would have came up on her and started talking about infidelity period and point blank but Buffy had enough class about herself not to do it and Toya it's like she probably wanted to do it <laughs> And uh, six, I mean, Eugene would have been right there bagging up his baby girl. And it would have been a hot party that night, child. It would have been a hot party that night. But thank you all for coming by my channel, stopping to see what I had to say on a particular subject, a particular targeted subject uh, that I want to do my commentary on and give my opinion. Because, you know, I'm very much so opinionated. But anyway, um, that was uh, Married to Medicine, a recap just on Jackie and Buffy and Jackie not having enough sense to this day mm -hmm. to realize that she was wrong. Wrong for divulging a personal friend's information and putting it out there on uh, Front Street. And she still to this day feel like she did not do anything wrong. Okay, but that's all I had, guys. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. And the, I'm going to be entertained with trying to uh see what the hell is going on with dr heavily how she feel like she has to sit and render her opinions and take up for dr jackie i just want to see what she got going on and what we can ascertain about why she keep putting her business in jackie's business to defend jackie in her business mess okay or i should say her personal mess so look forward to that video i'll be taking five minute break and then i'll get into talking about dr heavily and how she needs to mind her own business okay or mind her and damien's business over there at the kimes or the climb kimes residence all right guys y'all be blessed i'll see y'all next video thank you bye bye